Hi everyone, so this will probably be a very short video. So I've wanted to make this video in between the other videos because lately I've been getting a lot of requests on my Facebook page with people asking me like to help them with projects because a lot of their projects are failing with Resin Infusion. So first thing I want to say is like Resin Infusion is not the easiest way of making parts. It's probably the cleanest way of making parts, but it's not the easiest one. So I've made this video just to explain uh, how I've started and where I got to with Resin Infusion at the point I am now. And that's all thanks like watching the first videos from Easy Composites. Uh, I'll add the video right here. Um, but the thing is, I was just copying them at the moment, just trying to do everything step by step. So I've watched that video like 12 times in maybe like two hours just to try to reproduce uh, every millimeter or inch they were like putting the tapes on, uh, flow mesh, tacky tape and so on. So after that, the first part failed. So um, probably because like me not knowing enough information about infusion. So the thing I've started then is I've started using uh, glass plates just like to know what's happening behind uh, the stuff like behind the peel ply, behind the infusion mesh and so on. So from these glass plate samples that I made back then, I've learned like a lot of stuff. Like it's knowing where the infusion points are. Is it tacky tape like fully sealed? Because you can see it on a glass plate if you have a fully sealed bag or not. And um, second, the other thing is at the end you get like results of plates you can do something with. Um, so I mostly make these once a month with all these, these scrap pieces I have laying around from other projects and mostly like I try to keep uh, looking for some new stuff, some improvements like knowing what temperature of resin you should be infusing at, uh, what's the pressure, can you infuse at lower pressures or not, does it have an influence on the resin flow or not. Like you could also start testing with uh, infusion without flow mesh, for example, or without peel ply, or just like trying some new connection points and so on. So that's why I mostly try to learn out of these plates while doing great plates. I can use on the CNC, I can make keychain from it. I can also start testing on these plates with like clear coat, colored uh, plates, could also make samples like for customers willing to know like how is the fiber looking like when infused. So I have um, a full library of samples like in different thicknesses, different types of fibers, uh, all types of cores and so on. And everything is labeled like how much resin does like a uh, half a meter on half a meter takes in resin of a certain fiber with a certain core or not. And that's like the most important thing about knowing what you're doing while you infuse it, where you're doing your infusions and knowing how much resin it will use, how much time it will take and so on. And from that step, you can start doing like stuff on molds because glass plates are very easy to find. Uh, probably everybody should have access to glass plates. Uh, they have a gl high gloss finish. Uh, they are temperature resistant, so you can also start doing like pre prig and so on on glass plates. And so like that's about it. So I wanted to stress that out, that it's very important to do some like basic testing before going into the, like the bigger work. Um, and if you still have problems and so on, I've started a Facebook group on Facebook. It's a closed group. Uh, it's called, I try to do it in reverse. We love composites. Um, so it's called We Love Composites. It's, you can find it at WLC on Facebook. I'll just add a link down below, probably. It will be easier. Um, so I'll show you just like a quick video to show you how I made these plates and how you can like see from the back how an infusion is going before, because the front on the glass sides will go quicker than on the back side. So that's like the first thing I've learned about infusion. So you have to let it go all the way through to the end tube of the vacuum. So that's about for this video. I'll have more videos coming up. I've been quite busy with the workshop. I have some new gear in to do some more stuff. 
and I've been quite busy with business stuff and so on. So um, more videos are coming. So I'm not dead. I'm still alive and I'm still on YouTube. And see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.